Hi, I'm Quentin Lee. And I'm Ellie Wen. And you're watching Channel APA. Dot com. Uh, well, White Frog is a very emotional family drama about a, a 15 year old boy with Asperger's and his older brother suddenly dies and so he basically has to pull his family together. Um, it's, it's sort of like about his journey of like, you know, of basically pulling his family together and sort of like finding himself. Uh, well, so I co-wrote White Frog with my mom, and then I produced it with Joel and Joel Soissons and Chris Lee. And everyone told me that I needed to work with Quentin for, as a director. So I reached out to him through a filmmaker friend. And I got a message on Facebook and saying, "Hey, do you want to direct like my friend's movie?" <laughs> I said, "Sure." And then so I, you know, Ellie emailed me, and I, you know, got the script. And as soon as I got the script, I realized, you know. I talked to them and realized that that script, that story came from a very personal place and I really connected to that so I signed on and then basically we started attaching like cast like you know uh, Joan Chen, BD Wong, Harry and then and then we also found Boo Boo and so basically this thing just kind of came together. Snowball yeah, snowballed yeah. in a very you know, short time I'd yeah. say. Um, when did we start prep? We started prep maybe like I would say March? March of last year, and I think the movie got financed in June, or May or something, May or something, and then it is like a little less than a year later we are premiering the movie, it's like amazing. White Frog is a movie about tolerance and loving yourself, accepting yourself and others, so we hope that people take that message away from the movie and learn to be themselves and love each other and themselves. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really about, like, White Frog is about, like, people learning to accept their own difference and or other people's difference. So I think difference is really the theme of the movie. It's, a, it's about accepting difference and it's but it's a very emotional journey and I think that's that's the key to the movie. Sure, I think like BD signed on first BD because first. Uh, yeah, he uh, went to New York um, to meet with BD and David Henry Wong and they knew each other from back in and Butterfly mm. days. So. And then we really liked Joan, so we, we, we went up to Joan, and Joan signed on, and then yeah. Harry signed on, and then we were looking for uh, the main and they character. And all the first choices. Yeah, and then Boo Boo basically yeah. walked into the room, we had and auditions. we had auditions. Boo Boo walked in the room, I thought, wow, you know, he is the boy, and yeah. then I we talked to everybody. People. Yeah, we saw definitely. All the kids. Um, and then I think uh, one of our, exec our, our executive producer, Kevin Iwashina, brought on yeah. Tyler Posey and Manish, and Manish Dayal, Dayal, and I think and then Justin, Justin Martin, Martin actually did a self tape. Self did a for self tape for um, uh, our casting director, and yeah. we thought he was like, you know, he was the right one, the right kid. But our casting um, director was great about just bringing yeah, us Brad a Gilmore. lot of choices, very diverse mm -hmm. actors. So. And and, and and we've always kind of started to make a very, besides making like a more kind of traditional Asian American movie, you know, we wanted to make a multicultural teen movie universal and, and, and universal, yeah. So so the multicultural component of the cast really really shines. I think it's that's that's what makes it really different from any other Asian American movie or or very or, or just contemporary um, Hollywood movies. You know, and, and even the the crew behind the scenes is very diverse too. So that was a message that was running throughout the whole production. And obviously, the channel APA features a lot of like the musicians <laughs> that we have, you know, we've used, uh, yeah. and they they really really helped us and contributed, and mostly Asian, all Asian American musicians contributed to be for our for our really really cool soundtrack. So. Yeah. Well, basically, when I was cutting the movie, I mean, I worked with like Big Phony on the people I slept with, and I, I really liked his voice. So we, so I was like playing around with his music, and then I called him. So I actually emailed him saying, "Hey, can I get some tracks from you, please?" And then so he gave some tracks, and then David Choi was also very supportive from the get go. So yeah, anything, anything, else, anything you guys need, you know, give me a buzz. And then so I got a track from him, and Paper Doll I've worked with before on the people I slept with. So. And I really like the sounds, and um, and then I, we also went out to get like you know to meet meet up 
get other musicians. Um, like I Am Medic, which I thought was a really cool group. I was like on YouTube looking for tracks. Like, oh, I, I got to get one a couple of the tracks in the movie, and and somehow it all worked out. You know. And even Boo Boo and Five Oh, right. Boo Boo and Five performed yeah. a performance, and they had a song in the movie also. Yeah. yeah. We have a trailer on YouTube, so please check it out. It's White Frog Official Festival trailer on YouTube. And also our website is uh, whitefrogthemovie.com. Yeah. So. And we're on Facebook and Twitter, so you can follow us there. And we're premiering on March 8th at the San Francisco International Asian American Film Festival in San Francisco, so everyone should come out and see it. But we'll be hopefully going to other festivals and bringing it to other cities too.